whoever came up with the saying, good things come in small packages, I think they were talking about this, the DJI Mini 2. The DJI Mini 2 might be small, but it's huge on features. Many years ago, the DJI drones were a lot larger and yet their video quality wasn't up to what you could produce with the Mini 2. Certainly DJI has come a long way, as have their drones. The DJI Mini 2 is a perfect example of a drone that can fit literally in the palm of your hand, yet produce results you'd expect from a much larger drone. Now I can tell you the DJI Mini 2 is a small drone all day long, but it isn't really until you have a close look at it that you can actually appreciate just how small the DJI Mini 2 is. Now this is the DJI Mini 2 in the folded position. Now I'm just gonna bring in a couple of other things to give it some scale. This is the iPhone 12, not the 12 Pro Max, the iPhone 12, and here is can of drink. Now that just gives you an idea of the size and how it can actually rest in the palm of your hand when it's in the folded position. The small size and the, and the light weight make it ideal to take with you anywhere you want to go. Whether it's on your travels, whether you might just be going out for the day and you want to be able to put, you could literally fit this in your pocket. So you might be on a road trip or heading out for the day. It is no hassle whatsoever to put the DJI Mini 2 in your pocket or in your bag. The, look, look at how, this, this is the size as we said in the folded position. But let, let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. So we first of all have the side struts that come out first. And then you've got the others, the bottom struts. And so this is it in the unfolded position. So the props open out once you, of course, you, you take off. So that, that is it in its unfolded position. Still, still very small. There's our phone, still quite tiny. And you'll see the four the three axis gimbal with the through the 4k camera and on the back is the a USB-C port so you might want to charge the battery while it's inside and there is also the micro SD card slot right there and this is actually the battery compartment that's where the battery goes so you can take the battery out that's that's the size of the battery there so it is pretty small and actually fits inside the drone. Normal, normally the battery actually forms part of the chassis, so you actually pull out part of the chassis when you, when you take out the battery, not this time. It actually is, even though it's so small, it still has room to fit the battery inside. The DJI Mini 2 is quite small. It's actually smaller than its remote control. Let's bring that in. This is the, the controller right here. So I'm going to fold this back up again so you can you can appreciate just how small this is. So this is the Mini 2 in its folded position again. And here's the remote control. It is, it is actually larger than the actual drone itself. Who'd have thought? But here is the remote and it does have the thumbsticks that that screw into the to the each of the plates here and when you're done you you can simply store them under here that that's when you're not using them they can actually be stored away you can leave it like this if you want if you've got the room to to keep it to keep it out in the open let me see if I can get that in there okay okay so that there there's your the thumbsticks ready to go on switch 
And now what you use, you use your phone for to, as the screen. In our case, we're gonna use an iPhone, so that just slips inside there. And then we just connect The DJI Mini 2 weighs just 249 grams. So not only is it small, it, all, it is also quite light. But don't let the, its size fool you into thinking that it can't handle the conditions. For our testing, we took the Mini 2 out to the eastern suburbs of Sydney on the beaches there, Lurline Bay, Maroubra, along the coast. And the day we took it, it was actually quite a windy day. Now DJI says the Mini 2 can handle wind speeds of up to 38 kilometers an hour. And it wasn't anywhere near uh, as high wind as, tho as those speeds, but it certainly did stick right where it had to uh, in, in pretty decent winds. We flew it out over water. Uh, we had it actually quite high, up to about 100 meters. Uh, and on the coast with those, those strong breezes, the DJI Mini 2 just stuck there. And even better than that, the three axis gimbal was rock steady and gave us really smooth video as well. Of course, the DJI Mini 2 isn't uh, just for fun, although it is fun to fly it. It's all about the photography as well, and the 4K video can capture up to 30 frames per second. Fantastic still images as well. You could even capture panoramas with, with the, uh, the Mini 2. But on the video side, what I really like are the quick shots, so the, those, set, those set modes that just shoot automatically for you. So you can do, for example, a droney or a rocket. A drone is when the, the, the drone pulls away slowly and into the distance and, and, and is, is you can see yourself shrinking in the, in the image. The rocket is where it actually goes from being directly above you and then like its name suggests, it shoots up like a rocket. But my favorites were the circle and the helix. Now with the circle, you set your target, in this case it was myself, and you set a radius and then you adjust how high you want the drone to be. So from the point where you start the drone, it will then complete a 360, de 360 degree sweep uh, and looks really smooth, it looks really professional. The other is the helix, which not only forms, uh, flies in a circle, but it gets higher uh, each each as it completes that circle so that that looks quite quite stunning if you're in the right right location you can really capture some stunning videos on the battery side the mini 2 will fly for about 31 minutes now don't think that you're going to be flying for all of those 31 minutes i i my rule of thumb is to set a warning system where you've got 25 percent battery left so when you've got about I'll do the math, six or seven minutes of flying left, you'll get the low battery warning. I know a lot of pilots make the mistake of, of setting that when the battery's only got about 10% warning, 10% of energy remaining. And the problem there is that if you're out over water 
and you're a fair distance away, with 10% of the battery, you're only just gonna make it home. I think build in the extra the extra warning zone, like add, add it, make it about 25% before your warning, your low battery warning sounds. It's very easy to adjust that in the in the app, by the way. So that's my recommendation. 31 minutes is what it says on the box, but that's 31 minutes from the second you take off till the second it drops out of the sky. You don't want that. Effective flying time, I reckon, is probably between 25 to 30 minutes, but build in that, in that warning zone, that little buffer zone, so that if you do need to return to home, uh, if you are out of water or a fair way away, you've still got a lot of juice left in the battery to get you there. The Mini 2, I think, is a very good beginner's drone. Not only is it small and light, it's less intimidating to maybe a first time drone pilot, but it can also produce amazing results. It is really easy to fly. There are, there are tutorials when you first turn on the drone and connect it through the app, through the controller, so you can take lesson by lesson to, to, get, to find your feet before you take to the skies. But I think uh, if, if you are looking for an entry level drone that's not a toy, but that can produce great results, I think the Mini 2 is a fantastic choice. Once you're done flying, you can fold the bottom in and you're done. Same thing with the controller, you remove the phone, you simply loop back this cord back into its right place, squeeze that down, then you unscrew the thumbsticks and they go in right here. Same with the other one. And you're done. The DJI Mini 2 is priced at $749. And for that you're getting, you might think, well, it's pretty small, it should be cheaper, but for what you're getting, not only is it an excellent drone in terms of its flight, its stability, the, the three axis gimbal and just how smooth everything is, the hardware is fantastic. The camera, of course, is also what you're getting and it's 4K at 30 frames per second, 12 megapixel stills with all of those quick shot modes and all of those things at your fingertips. Even a beginner can produce fantastic results. So $749 for just the drone itself. But what I would recommend is the Fly More Combo, which is $949. And here's what you get in the Fly More Combo. Not only do you get the drone itself, but you also get three batteries. So that's one, one is in the drone, of course. You've got two spares. You do get the controller, of course. You also get a charging stand as well. So you can, you can put three batteries in there at once and be able to charge them so that next time you're heading out for a flight, uh, you, you connect this using a USB-C cable and you're able to charge your three batteries. So it's 31 minutes each or around 31 minutes each. And not only that, with the Fly More Combo, you also get a storage bag. So here's the bag that fits everything in. This is, this is really handy also. I, I, I really like how you don't have to buy a separate case. So you can fit in the drone itself right in there. You can fit in the batteries and you can fit in the controller in a handy carry bag that isn't that big. This, you can take that anywhere. And don't forget, if you just want to take the drone, it's, you saw how small it is. You can put that in, in your bag, in a jacket pocket even, if you want to. But price of the DJI drone is $749 for the drone on its own, $949 for the Fly More Combo. Whether it's your first drone or your 10th drone, the DJI Mini 2 will produce amazing results. To read our complete review, head over to techguide.com.au. Thanks for watching.